Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef A. John Morris again, man, presenting to you how to make shrimp scampi. Yeah, man, I. We know about sardines, mackerel, bully beans, chicken foot, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing I waste, nothing I dash with. Now, this shrimp scampi is very quick and easy. Some sauteed shrimp with some bruschetta mix in it, served up with some garlic crustinis. Real deal. If you're a shrimp lover, you'll love this one. Without further delay, power, let me show you what I'm going. So I'm going to be adding into this one Roma tomato. Roma tomatoes are normally firmer, so we're going to go for those tomatoes, right? And I'm also going to be adding half of a small onion in this. Roma tomatoes and my white onion diced right I'm gonna add to that three leaves of fresh basil just gonna cut that off just roll those up we'll drop that right in I'm gonna go into a teaspoon of garlic puree and of course a drizzle of olive oil about a tablespoon one teaspoon of salt and pepper mix and one of my all-time favorites some chili flakes gonna go with just a touch of that you can omit this but i like a bit of spice in whatever i eat some chili flakes in there just mix that up just gonna add a sprinkle of parsley in it that's ready, so set that aside, right? Alright, so here I have about a half a pound of shrimp. Now you can use the jumbo shrimps for these, but today unfortunately for me, I only have the small shrimp. These are already de-veined and clean and everything, right? I'm gonna go in with one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Just like that. And of course a touch of black pepper. Just gonna mix that in. Now this can be marinated the night before and your shrimp will be perfect. So there you go. Quick and easy as I said before. We have our cast iron skillet that's already heated up. I'm just gonna go right over to the stove. Alright, skillet is nice and hot. It's gonna add about two tablespoons of oil and straight in with our shrimp. Now you want to do this just to get that nice color on the shrimp, right? Drain all of that liquid from it. So for about 30 seconds to a minute, we leave them on that side, just to get that nice sear. We're gonna turn these over. How you know your shrimp is ready? Is when it start changing color to a nice pinkish color, right? And shrimp cook real fast, you want to work your hands. You just want to get that color on them, like that. And while this is going, we're going to pop in our oven or crostini. Just make up some nice crostini bread. You can get whichever bread of your choice, really. But nice crostinis like these are normally ideal. Cut into about a quarter inch thick. So I'm adding in my melted butter some pureed garlic and fresh parsley I'm gonna apply that to our bread nice you need some nice and soft garlic bread right so I have a video out on how to prepare your garlic bread you can check that one out as well minus the cheese right I'm buttering both sides just to keep it nice and moist because these breads are on the dry side right let's get that garlic butter moisten it up gonna pop these in the oven for about two minutes or until they're nice and crisp 
All right, this is the fun part. We're gonna deglaze our pan. Some white wine of your choice. And then straight in with our bruschetta mix. Just gonna add to that some butter, turn that down and allow the butter to melt and we're golden. So there you have it, how to prepare shrimp scampi here on more style cooking it. Once again, thank you very much for watching and do remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like these. Until next time, see if travel party gravel and go and big up on yourself. See you another dinner for later. But know your fast girl, you never tell me. Cause I know any, any man can feed you. So that's why you always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.